Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We find ourselves in a little bit of a different place today. Uh, we are in a place called Pasilicum, or Pasilicum, something like that. Uh, we're here to build up our mall. I figured this would be a good episode to start building our mall. And I did take a look at our closest vicinity, so uh, we started over here in Leonis Minoris. I looked around at a few of these stars just to see kind of what's available and so on so we can at least get a decent understanding of what we have. And this is the place I selected mainly because there is a lot of stuff here. And we have one planet that doesn't have a lot of stuff here. <laughs> so this planet we can use just for actually building out our whole system itself. And then we can, from there, and kind of ship out all of our mall stuff further away to other places. So that's the plan. The idea I have is I would like to find a fairly empty spot where we can start uh, to build all of our stuff. Uh, probably around here somewhere. I think if we start on this corner, for example, that's quite a good good place to start uh, and I'm just gonna kind of build everything that we need on this planet so I'll just start from scratch more or less that is my my intended goal here uh, we have a few things that we are going to have to start with of course the, the first and the most obvious things that we're going to need is the main smelting stuff so let's start with some some steel or some uh, some of these guys, whatever they're called. <laughs> I'll never remember. So yeah, we have a lot of stuff with that as well, so hopefully we should have enough that we can get all of this up and running. We're gonna get some power as well. Probably I will take power directly from the home planet for now, and then we'll expand it eventually. So we'll use the uh, discharge ones for now, and then we'll expand it from there eventually. That should be okay. Uh, I think I'll just put that right here, actually. So if we go... Yeah, something like this. That should be pretty good. Right there. Remote demand of that and remote supply of that. Problem is that we don't really have any... Uh, any available power at the moment, so we kind of need to find a solution for that eventually as well, but... For now, I'm just gonna leave it like this. Hopefully we'll eventually get some power. Hopefully we will eventually get some power. They are connected, both of them, so that's fine. We are then going to need some basic copper. Which we will put right here. Same thing as the other ones. Like that. Probably gonna need some gears without any doubt. We have put gears up front here instead. Where we have enough space for it. We'll go with you right there. So, uh, with this we can kind of see what we need to focus on. Uh, we are already below when it comes to our... Inserters. I have 269 and I'm going to use those to make sure that we can produce more of them. Uh, the reason these are not building is because they're actually tier 2 inserters and we will upgrade them to tier 3. All of them. Eventually. It's just not priority right now. But yeah, that's, that's what we're going to do here in a little bit. Just gonna get this built. Uh, and then we have this guy that needs to be built as well. That is complete when it comes to that. 
Uh, and then we're going to see... So we're gonna need a tower that will send out... everything for us afterwards. I just don't really know how far away can we... That's not it. So we can actually be quite close to these. So let's start by building it backwards then. We'll start with these guys. And they're going to go... Actually don't know where. We're gonna build these. So you're gonna need two inputs and also one of these are gonna go here. And you're gonna produce the other one and then you're gonna have two inputs as well. So, there. Okay, so I'm aiming to be able to produce two per second, which means that we would need uh, four of these for one per second, and then we double that. So we will have eight of them, and that should be producing what we need. Um, hopefully we have enough stuff with us here. I think that is going to be the, the most interesting part, to see whether we are actually able to, to fit all of this. Then we put you... maybe here. I think that's fine. These are not going to be tileable to, to that biggest, big of an extent. Uh, they're more or less going to be just fine. So we have three things there things there. Uh, this is not going to be enough, is it? Plus five things there. So we're actually gonna need more than one of these towers. Because we're gonna need... Yeah, unless we are making the gears here. Which anyway, we're not gonna have enough. Okay, so we're actually going to need two towers. Let's expand this, see if we can set down two towers then. And then we want to have this guy going here somewhere. Like that, maybe. And we might as well flip you around. Oh, it doesn't actually flip them when they are. Okay. Then you are gonna turn around as well. To there. And then we're gonna have one more tower on this side. Okay, so there we have the basic setup for our assemblers. So if we can get this running, then we will be able to produce assemblers for, uh, two each second, which should be pretty good. Uh, we're having two towers, uh, one that imports steel and circuit ports, another one that imports all of the other stuff that we need, and then we are shipping out from here as well. Which I do think should be pretty good. Don't need you to be having any of the long range guys though. Uh, so next up we are going to need some of those circuit boards, I think is the next thing I want to build. That will also go right here. So we are going to do that, just connect those. And I already prepared a blueprint here. So we should be able to just plonk that down and that should be pretty good. So if we go here somewhere, let's see, there is the same row as the other guys, right? Yes. That should be pretty good. Oh, are we out of belts already? Okay. That's kind of alarming. I am not prepared to be able to build a bunch of belts. More or less instantly. That was not in my plans. Okay. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to hope that we'll do it just fine anyway then. Some more inserters as well. Yeah, we should have brought more belts then. That would have been the... The right option to do. Uh, we're going to, I think, upgrade a few of these. Not all of them, just a few. So we can have some circuit boards. 
Uh, we're going to do the same with these, so we get a few of the gears as well. Again, not too many, but at least some of them. And what else do we need? Well, we need to continue trying to build for this, so we should have steel. That's being produced here. Uh, we should have the gears done, and we should have the circuit boards. So we can produce the first version of this once we get power. Again, we don't have any power, because we're not actually getting any of these. <laughs> Which is unfortunate. Might have to actually look into building... Maybe like solar power or something eventually. Or thermal powers could be an option as well. We'll see. I'll figure something out. First off, we're gonna get this built. So these guys need... Uh, maybe just do this with fire eyes. I think that might be the easier way to do it. I do think that would be the easier way to do it. So how do we build that? We wanna do these with fire eyes. That's done in a chemical facility, right? Do we even have those? I think I brought a fluid few, yeah. And it is, we get one per second, so 30 can be supported by one of these. Let's go here somewhere, maybe. Actually, we don't want it here. We want it on this side over here. Station. Then our chemical plants. So we're getting one in and two out. It's kind of weird. It looks like it's been built on before or something. I have actually not put these down, so... Not sure where those comes from. So yeah, 30 of those should be good. And uh, we're getting one in and two out, so... One in between. Let's see. You should have the fire ice one. You need one, one in and two out. I'm gonna go here. And we're gonna go with you guys back this way there you should continue this way Can you imagine if we actually make this work it's gonna be so nice to have stuff available everywhere on the planet uh, we, we are actually overkilling it here we should have just 15 of these I just realized that's 8 that's 16. Yeah, that's good. Let's go with 16. That should be plenty. We don't need lo a lot of stuff here. Uh, and if we do, then I think it's easier to just expand later. Because we don't have too much with us right now. So if we actually need to bring a lot of stuff, then that would be an issue. So we do that, we'll build a tower here. We could easily have like four of these. No, we couldn't. We could have two though. We easily have two of them. Let's do that. Let's get these guys into here. You will go to there. We will have this guy should have fire eyes. Remote. Demand, because we will not be producing that here. That is a... A... Uh, resource that's mined directly, so we need to de demand that. You will output here. And these guys will then... In there. Move that in there, remove that, and then we can just double that for the next one, right? Hell yeah! And then we just make a copy of this one. 
Yeah, there is foundation here. That's actually really interesting. Didn't really expect that. So right there. Equivalent for that. Then I think I'm going to do this. Oh, no, 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 not this. We're going to do... Uh, let's see. Actually, let's reset all of this. I'm going to combine one of these, but not all. So like that. Because the helium is not coming out with the same pace, so they are producing half of the amount of hydrogen compared to the other stuff. So we can do that, and then we don't have to use the the rear ports on this, which I prefer to. Like we got that at least, and we do have some power now as well. It's good. So that means that we can start producing as soon as we have all of these set up. Doesn't really matter here. Uh, we're gonna have this one here at least, and then we're gonna have you there. And then we'll just copy you all down. Copy these all the way down. Not going to do the other one. Simply because I don't feel like it's necessary. You are going to have helium or hydrogen, and you're going to have these. And that's going to be remote supply. Uh, local supply, I mean, of course. And then we connect those. That should be pretty good. That will give us the majority of those. I'm not gonna build these. I don't feel like I wanna do that. At least not right now. We'll probably look into that eventually. Actually, I could build it now as well. There's no real reason not to do it. Just a bit of power that it's gonna take, so... That's fine. Let's do this. Uh, that doesn't work. So we want to have you go here with hydrogen, and we want to have you go here with this. And then we copy you all the way over to there. I never set this up either. There we go. That's all of those running. You guys are more or less filling up quite well. That's good. We do have power now, thankfully. I don't think we're going to have enough, but uh, we at least get some power. These guys should see... Yes, so those both have it. Do not have any of the gears yet. Why is that? Uh, local, this should be demand, that's why. Okay, so we have started our production. We are still missing these, which are the processors. So I guess next up is our processors. And that's... I'm trying to do this kind of in layers. So here you have like the basic smelting. I did put in power there for some reason. I don't know why. I uh, should pr probably not have done that. Here we have like tier two things. Here I will have the chemical parts. And then here I'm going to do the sort of tier three things. I don't know what the actual tiers are, but that's what I call them. Uh, so we're going to use these guys. We still have 300 of them, so we're actually doing all right, still. Uh, and we're going to produce the processors, which we have here. And uh, we already have the circuit boards, so that's fine. We just need to produce these now. Which should also be quite okay. Uh, I just want to double check 
that uh, the gears should not be bringing in from broad. None of them are. Okay. Good, good. Then we are good to go when it comes to that as well. If we need power, we actually do have hydrogen here. So we could burn hydrogen if needed. If needed. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do these. They are one to one for those. And then this one takes half. So we can go like that. And then we can go... You going this way. Two of these here. And that should fill up each of these and they will be able to output as well. That's five belts, so we can do double this and put it here. And that should be pretty good. Just need a tower, probably like that, I imagine. Yes, we probably want to move them back a little bit as well. So you actually just need two things, and that is these guys. And those. Okay, so that is all of the processors that we hopefully are going to need. Um, not that these guys are actually working still, but uh, we can at least try to make it work, maybe. <laughs> I guess. Uh, either way, that is going to have to do it. We are at least producing a little bit, so we're getting a few of these circuit boards every now and then. Uh, we do need to produce these micro-crystalline components, though. So the first thing we need to do for that is actually to smelt some new stuff that we don't have on this planet just yet, which is these. And that shouldn't be too bad. We should be able to do that fairly easily. Uh, this is a lot bigger than any other smelting though. Should I have it here or should I have it on the other... Maybe I should just make a new one for these like massive smeltery arrays. Why not? I'll just make a new rain... Uh, new... new one for this. It's not like it matters how close it is. Everything is handled by by air anyway. So we'll just go here. We'll do Blanc. No. Why are we complaining? Oh, because there is a bunch of stone veins here. Maybe we don't want to do that then. Maybe we want to do it here. It will be... No, it's actually taller than that. Uh, should I just hide these then? There should be enough resources around here anyway, so... Let's just hide these. I think it's fine. If we do that, that should be perfectly fine. And then we take silicon, we turn it around, put it over here. This land, so I can see what I'm doing. Thank you down there. I don't think I'm gonna add the additional smelters that I have here. I'll just build the ones that I can and then we'll be happy with that, I guess. I think in general this guy I'm not going to build that much of. I might just build the initial parts and then we'll think that's enough. Are we getting anything here? Nothing at all. Nada, silch. Alright. That's kind of fine, I guess. Uh, we should have remote demand here though and we should not supply anything there. Yeah, that'll be better. Then we will in include a few of those as well. Uh, so that is that. We need then to continue with producing... Where are those components? Microcrystalline components? 
Uh, we still need some copper. Do we have that? Yes, we do have copper here. That's good. That's actually good. Okay. So then we can just plump that down right here then. And what is the ratio for you? One for two seconds and then two, one. So is it the same as something else? One for two seconds and two, two. One for two and then two, one. Two for one, no. That's not really it. What about steel? No. I don't think we have anything that would be the equivalent for that. Maybe these? Do you look like two for one and then four two? Yeah, that's not it's not it either. No, I'm gonna build a new one. I'm gonna build a new one. So we're gonna have lack of item. Am I completely out of Yeah, I don't have any all right, I don't have any belts left. Let's see if we can maybe pick up a few of these belts. Maybe I should have focused on belts instead. That might have been the better option. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna use these. I'm gonna put down... I think one should be enough. Can I not build there? Yeah, I can. And we're gonna have belt going this way, this way, and then they're gonna go into here. We're gonna build these. And they provide 1.8 per second, so it's actually going to saturate the full belt here. Okay, uh, and these actually need two per second, so we cannot really do 30, we can do 20. Is that correct? Yes. So if we go 10 and then we go another 10, steel and oops, output. Where do we have them? These. Local demand, local demand. Two grand. Two grand. Well, supply, that's correct. These should not supply anything. Okay, so with that, we are now producing the micro crystalline components as well. <coughs> Which means that we should see processors coming out from over here. If I'm not mistaken. Come on, we should have some processors coming out. Yes. Hey, that's great. That means that we are able to almost produce what it is that we needed, right? I think we are quite close now. Let's go have a look over here and see what it looks like. So these guys are now having... We have the gears. The processors are on its way. And then we just need whatever these guys need. And this has been a headache before, I know. So uh, this is going to be interesting and see what we actually can do here. Uh, these are going to be the easiest to do, I think. Because they just need processors, which we already have. And then these guys right here, which is... These we can just mine directly. And then... No, you can't mine those directly. I thought you could just mine those. Apparently not. Cashmere crystals. I was certain you could... No, I think I'm mistaking them with something else, so uh, that's not the case. Okay, uh, you cannot actually build those. We are going to continue then and try to get those built here eventually. Uh, I wonder if we want to go for some more belts maybe first, just to try to get this up and running. 
So if I want to build belts, what do I need to do them? Uh, that we already have. This we need to build the engines, and this we need to build the... Okay, belts is actually quite simple. So let's get some belts on here. How many... I guess we can do the same. We'll do eight out of all of these. Just every time. So we'll take you. I don't want you to maintain everything all the time. Just don't. Let's try again. There we go. So we want to go... I'll just plunk you down. I think we're going to need one space between these only. We need two things. Uh, we can have one thing come up there, one thing come there. Get one out of here. That should be good for you. And then you will have one thing coming in as well, right? Those are the engines that we needed. Yes. So that's this. And then this guy is going to have two things coming in, if I'm not mistaken, as well. And all of that should actually already be available for us. Well, the majority of the things, at least. Up until tier 2, we should more or less be able to do this really easily. So we'll do that. We'll get this up here. Then you are going to go this way. Stop cancelling my things when I'm building. It's sort of annoying. Um, you need two things in and one out, so I'm probably gonna turn this away around instead and then have you go there. This guy will go over here. And then we're gonna have a tower. I hope I can fit one here. Come on. Really? I have to be that far away? Fine. Uh, what do you need? You need... You need steel. You need gears. You need... Engines. These guys and... What else was it? This stuff. This one should be along the edge here. You are going to export these. So from you, I'll turn you around and put you into here. Let's see, we want to have the steel and those going there, and then we want to have gears going here. So we want to have here, we want to have the engines. Let's go steal some belts from these here. So you guys already have a lot of your belts stolen. Let's steal a bit more. Okay, so that is all of the items that we need for belt, except for one, right? We actually do have a few of those here as well. Why did you end up on this? No clue. That is just weird. Okay. And why do we have these here? That should be you guys. That should be you guys. And let's take those. And then is the question, what do we need for these? We have none of those, that sucks. So we need one of the guys here. Let's see, you guys, these. I feel like we built one of these, but maybe we didn't. Maybe we didn't, let's put that down there.
so we have the coils we're gonna need the actual normal ones as well i think they're built here the best so let's see go up one step there one's melting and these those are actually bigger than i thought ah did i build that over here somewhere if I build them here instead. That's also too big. Okay. And let's build the tail then. This is where all of our stuff were set up. The error has occurred. Copy immediately, restart to see if it works. Okay. Uh, I guess I broke something. That's good. Yep, looks like it was temporary. Seems to be fixed now. That's good. That's good. Then, I don't think I care about that one. I'm going to do this though. I'm going to give a few of those, not all of them. There, that's a good start, and we can at least get going with uh, those as well. What else do we need? I don't remember, we're building these now, right? Yes. So once you get that, we should have the... The magnetic coils that we need, and we're going to build these, which is the next step. So, uh, I think I want to build that over here as well, maybe. There's like three things that we need to put into one. You should be creating... The these we're working on. It is, right? So we need the electric motors. It means that you need three. And that's 20 for one of them. Yes. Okay. That's actually quite simple. We could, if we just need 20 of them, then we already have have that. I think these guys are 20 over here, right? Yeah, let's just continue here. Whatever. Whatever. We'll do it here. So, uh, this guy. Again, these them. You there will go have no belts. Alright, uh, can we steal some belts from or uh, gears from you maybe? If I do that, I'm going to take you And we'll put you into here. And at least when you get power, you will... Well, you will be running anyway when you get power, actually. But that doesn't really matter now, does it? Okay, so I'm trying to be very, very sparse with the amount of belts we are, because we have, because we are very, very low on belts. Um, but I think with these, we should be able to get Mark II belts up and going. And that should be enough that we can start actually producing. So if we look here, these guys just need the mark, the electromagnetic turbines. And then uh, ignore the power issues. <laughs> and then we should be able to get going, which is sort of the plan here. Uh, we have a lot of demands and then we need the these guys, which is the next step. And that's actually quite simple. We have everything except for the energetic graphite, and that's just coal. So let's do some coal. Uh, we should be able to just set that down here, I guess. Coal, uh, remote demand. 
Storage, remote supply, no. Local supply, yes. And we're going to, I think, just steal a bunch of coal from here when it gets gets to it. And just do this manually. Until we can get all of the belts up and running. What are we doing with inserters? Inserters are looking better. At least, we're not super be far behind with that. Okay, uh, so that's that. We already have those and we have that. So we literally just need to place these down now then. That's one for three seconds. So we could do 90 long if we wanted to. That's kind of stupid if we do that. So should we stick to the 20? No, we'll do a 30 long one. Do we have 30 anywhere? How many do you do? You have 60. That's a bit too short. What about over here? You guys are just smelting stuff. Don't we have 30 anywhere? Feel like we should have. Maybe not. It doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, that is what it is. That is what it is, because these are also just 15 or something. And that's also 20, yeah. We're building another one then. One for 30 long builds, I guess. That will go right here. So... These guys gonna go... Get somewhere. Not that one, we're gonna build these. And we're going to need... It's actually just a 1 to 1 ratio, so... It's actually more than 1 to 1. We can only do 20 of these as well. Okay. Well, that makes it a lot easier. Back to over here again. Hey, I'm manually feeding these all the time now, just to be able to produce something. And... Uh, I think it's sort of working. I think it is sort of working. Uh, we don't have any of these though just yet. Once we get these two going, we should be able to start producing the higher quality belts. And once we have that, we should be good to go. So let's see if we can steal a few of these. 200 of those should be able to make us allowed to send these in and out. So we want to go, let's see, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we need to combine one of these. Uh, we can easily split those. Okay. So we'll put those on the middle belt. I guess, and then we split them there. So this guy will take you, and we'll put it like that. Bring these to here, and then you... Down to this guy. We're gonna have you... You... Wait, you need three things. How did I calculate this? I can't count. It's only two things, you idiot. <laughs> this is not how counting works. Okay, so that is the super magnetic crystals for rings as well. Which means that we should be able to produce all of the belts that we need, and then we can finally get going with this whole thing. Uh, the only thing that we might run out of now is actually the smelters, I guess. Those are the only ones that could cause some issues now. We're still having issues with power, like we're having constant brownouts, but ah, it's fine. I don't really mind that. That's, that's alright. 
Okay, so I've been uh, kind of just slowly, slowly, slowly ramping up production and uh, just adding to these few buildings that we have here as we get more and more of the uh, belts. We've been able to kind of expand it one after another. And I think that we are actually kind of picking up production now. We've even received quite a lot of uh, power now. So even power seems to be in better shape than it was before. Uh, we're still not doing like massive amounts by any stretch of the imagination. But we are producing something at least and that's always good. So I think I'm gonna continue over to the electric engines now. We have a full row of normal uh, electric motors that is producing constantly. Uh, so next up is actually to get these green engines up and running. Uh, that are the electromagnetic turbines. We only have two machines that are running right now, so we can improve this quite a bit. So yeah, we need this to get going and then we should be able to kind of have all of the basics up and running. Because if we look at the these guys, they are just using the same stuff as what we already have. So the, the sorters will be automatically built once we are done with it, more or less. Uh, and then these are also just using what we already have as well. So once we get belts running, everything should be in decent order, I would say. And that will double up that production as well. Uh, we're actually low on magnetic coils. Where do we have those? I don't remember. They're right here. Okay. So yeah, we just need to expand these, right? We do this. We should get that built as well. Just filling in everything when it comes to the belts now. With the belts that we do have. Still not really enough, but we should be getting more and more all the time here. So if we head back over here, I do think that we should st still have a little bit more belts available. If we look in this guy, we have another 500. I'll take that. Oh, there we go. That's about 4,000 belts collected. Not too shabby, not too shabby. I did delete a lot of belts around here, so I guess I'm gonna go around and fix that. And uh, make sure that we have belts everywhere. Like here, for example, you can see that I have just deleted all of them. Okay, so I think that is going to be it for this episode. We now are producing the majority of the standard stuff that we need. I also put the uh, sun thingy on here. <coughs> My voice just completely breaks. Uh, yeah, we have the, 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 the solar panels here. The idea behind that is that I think I'm actually going to set up solar power on Palisium 1. We have quite a good, like, and uh, let me see, how do I, how do I twist you? There. We have a really good pole here to use for solar power, so I think we are going to do that in the next episode. Uh, that will help us a little bit with the power. We're not that bad on power right now, but we every now and then have some brownouts still, so if we can supplement it with some, some extra power, I guess that's good. Uh, another thing we need to do is to get the two requisites for this. So the particle broadband as well as the quantum ship. Everything else is here. We are producing it consistently. So uh, basics are sort of here. Next episode we're just gonna fine tune it and then continue building the rest. My idea is that I want to have everything available in the building tag that I can find myself using at some point. So I'm not having like the tier 1 and 2 belts and tier 1 and 2 sorters, for example, as well as the uh, assembly machines. I'll just have the tier 3 for those. But everything else I want to be able to have available to me. So this is a good start. 
and then we'll just continue on this. I think it should be just fine, actually. I think we should be a-okay when it comes to this. So yeah, I do hope that you have enjoyed. If you did, then click that like button. If you would like to see more, then subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.